Capacitive deionization, CDI, is an electrochemical water treatment technology used for removing ions, particularly salt ions, from water. It operates on the principle of electrostatic adsorption and desorption of ions onto the surface of porous electrodes. The basic component of a CDI system is the capacitive deionization cell. A CDI cell consists of two porous electrodes typically made of activated carbon or another suitable material. These electrodes are separated by an ion permeable separator or membrane. When a voltage is applied across the two electrodes, positively charged ions, cations, are attracted to the negatively charged electrode, cathode while negatively charged ions, anions, are attracted to the positively charged electrode, anode. This process is known as ion adsorption. The ions are stored on the surface of the porous electrodes, which have a high surface area due to their porous nature. This is similar to how charge is stored in a traditional capacitor, hence the name, capacitive deionization. TES makes CDI cell specification are listed, the cell specifications and working area of cell can be customized according to user requirement. Hi. Today we are going to see capacitive deionization cell. And these are all the components. And today we are going to see how to assemble, how to disassemble and everything. Now we will use with another gaskets. So this is non-contact layer and you have an in plate here. So just to go like this. Take all four. Insert it. Put it upside down like this. We have two gas cuts, one with the cavity, one without cavity. You can decide which one to use it. So I'm using with cavity one. So if I need to use with cavity one, I need to place my sample here. And this is my separator. Then I need to clip it like this. And this is the button. So the upper hole has to connect here. Then we need to put the down holes it's here. So this has to go like this. And then we need to keep another fan collector to it. That's it. Then we have the another end plate. Then you have your um, non-contact layer. That's it. You can put the holes and nuts. Now we need to put the flow channels in and out. You see? So it's in the spanner, slightly adjusted. That's it. Put the same connector on the bottom side. That's it.
So you're done. Now we are going to see the force. So take the main key and make sure that it's having enough pressure. So, there's a flow coming in, going up. I come here. So, the flow is happening between your um, anode and cathode. The flow is happening. And make sure that there won't be any leak in the bottom. There's a hole inside, so we have to be like keep it like this. Then we have um, the current collector material. So we need to take a small copper foil to take the leads. Okay, insert it like this. Then put your uh, separators here. Make sure that you can able to see the holes here. So in this way, you need to connect your uh, current collector with the copper foil, not with this. Set the peristatic pump on. Let me check the flow is happening. The 50 ml you can also vary to 100, 150, 200 ml, something like that. And you need to connect your current collector here and here, not with this because it's not touching the end plate. So 